Hi guys, Sherry here from No Facts Game Crew. How's it going? feminine how's it going so this is going to be a yin reading for april the 14th until the 22nd okay so i think we're going to do a celtic wing so i'll give both of these cards a little shuffle if you wanted to order my deck you can reach me at sherry shock at hotmail.com Okay, so starting with your present position, the Mental Clarity card, Ace of Swords. So there's this precise um, decision made, a clarity, a truth that's known. Um, so she's standing in her truth, in awareness, feeling vulnerable and exposed. So what is the foundation she's standing on? Five tribe. Um, this showed up for the feminine in the twin flame reading. Um, it was at the foundation. Coming in with the eight of swords. So there's this, this desire to connect. Um, feel, you know, that friendship, that love, and you know, and celebrate that love with. The, the feminine, or sorry, the masculine, perhaps. I'm going to pull one more card as a clarifier. The Ten of Cups, okay, so th this is a happily ever after. This was a card that they both desired as a crowning energy. Um, so she has been in a very happy, celebrated kind of mood just enjoying life, um, reaching out to friends and family, feeling, you know, things are harmonious on that front. So what's coming in in the past, never give up, never sur surrender. So this is speaking up, um, feeling courageous, feeling successful, um, like the king of the hill. So there is empowerment here because of the you know um, support that she has that's given her clarity about a situation what is it that she wants is the six of swords is to leave negative thoughts behind, move it to calmer waters. I feel that that is what she's doing. Um, there is a sense of having to fight for what she wants, having to fight maybe to keep this balance and harmony within her life, reconnect. So she wants to move to a calmer state of mind, yin. So the yin represents, you know, Feeling authentic within yourself um, as a feminine energy, but also being very loving and giving and motherly and birthing um, new ideas into reality, your creative energy. So what she wants is to leave the past behind. So she is she has a sword in her hand right now, making a decision or having clarity about a situation that will give her peace and harmony in her life and a sense of you know knowing and balance within herself what's in the near future mother earth so this is success um, being that motherly figure connecting with you know mother earth or you know having an abundance coming in to her life that makes her feel successful and giving and sharing and we saw a lot of that in the twin flame reading 
giving of herself. So there may be, you know, help or an opportunity that comes up, but I feel that she really works on either finances or her career, um, makes a decision to better herself. What is she resisting is the justice card. So she's resisting feeling justified or, you know, that there was justice in a situation. Um, but it's almost like she has made, she is making a decision in order to break free of something, but she doesn't feel that it's a just, that if she leaves it, she'll be losing in some way. But ultimately, you know, there's this independence card that's coming in the near future, which is what she desires. So let's just pull a clarifier. Free spirit. The masculine got this card also. Um, so this is playfulness, um, excitement, newness. So she's resisting this spiritual karmic energy um, to focus on the 3D reality, um, giving, but not necessarily receiving or feeling excited about life, just kind of doing what's necessary. So what is happening internally is the heart chakra, nice. We see a lot of love here. Um, the yin energy, also very loving, giving, same thing with Mother Earth. All right, so that does make sense. She's in a very loving mood, um, very giving of herself, feeling like her heart chakra is wide open. What's externally... There's that contemplation card that showed up in the Twin Flame reading also. So it showed up in the past, her waiting. Um, actually, it was at the foundation, right? Oh my gosh, I'm getting things mixed up. Okay, so, but we know this was a card that was in the Twin Flame reading for the feminine. So in the past, she was waiting. She comp was contemplating. Actually, it came with the Eight of Swords, yes, in the foundation. So um, the past... You know, it's it's coming in, in her external environment. So she is waiting for something, a decision to be made. Ultimately, that abundance, that dis, that wait is over because, you know, this is her receiving that abundance. Um, but there is a wait involved. And while she's waiting, she's working on herself, I guess. Okay, so what is it she will get is a broken heart, the Three of Swords. Well, that's not good. You know, unless she needs to do something that will hurt somebody, ultimately. Um, she is resisting finding out a truth and starting something new. Um, so... You know, it's hurting her on some level. Let's see what else comes up with that. Moving on. What she wants is calmer waters and yin. What she will get is broken heart and moving on. So, you know, maybe what she was waiting for, she was, you know, very, very excited about, or very, not excited, I guess, very open and loving and giving to the point where you know whatever happened happened and, and ultimately hurt her and she moved on from it she moved on from it um, a little worse for the wear I guess let's pull another card Father Earth King of Pentacles so we've got a King and Queen of Pentacles um, you know this could be you know, it's a boss energy. It's someone who's wise, who's um, in charge, commanding. So she could be breaking free and finding her own independence, walking away from something. Um, you know, it gets to this point where, you know, she can't be in the situation anymore because it's just hurting her too much. So she leaves it behind and ventures off on her own. Um, very independent, free, powerful woman. So she doesn't feel like there will be justice 
but I feel that, you know, ultimately with the Queen of Pentacles showing up, that there is justice, that, um, you know, she is that Queen of Pentacles who won't put up with the hurt uh, anymore, the emotional abuse or whatever, and uh, walks away from it. A lot of earthy energy in this reading. So what is the summary outcome? One love, the Ace of Cups. So, you know, this is a true love energy. Um, this card only shows up when you've done your work. So as a summary outcome, there is a desire to have, a you know, either a new loving connection or strengthen bonds or feel that love and feel like you're on top of the, the world, you know, cloud nine kind of thing. And it ultimately not really working out the way that you imagined it would, even though it does, you know, these are very similar energy. Um, but I just feel you kind of take it a little bit more hard than you, you know, would have expected. Now, what it was the universe message wasn't it no no i think uh that was from the masculine was that something will happen or was it the feminine i don't know i'm getting mixed up okay so i'm going to pull another card here so the grand awakening is the judgment card so as a summary outcome um there is a rebirth required you need to see something for what it truly is um, there's a love that you want to recharge or start again, um, but you're not seeing something uh, for what it truly is. And the final outcome closed off. So you may end up closing yourself off as a result of walking away and having your heart broken um you know and that's not what we want we want you just have that you know be that loving queen of cups very generous giving emotionally so don't close yourself off I'll pull another card here feeling alone disconnected yeah another one strength so this showed up in the masculine's external environment. So this could be you showing up in his reading as this gentle, giving, um, nurturing type of person. But uh, like closing yourself off from it. Um, feeling hurt. Things not working out maybe the way you wanted them into the three, in the 3D reality. A lot of pentacles, a lot of earth cards. Um, and ultimately shooting yourself in the foot and closing yourself off as a result. So let's see what the message from the universe says. See if I was on the right track or not. Um, a lot of struggle happening here. Okay. Green mermaid triplets. So... You know, that's that vibe tribe energy. Friends, you're not alone. Okay. Away from the pack, apart from the crowd. Strong and, and sorry, strong and sound and honor abound. Independent and proud, just don't forget your sisters waiting in the wings, the strength they bear, support and care. They're here, they're there, they're everywhere. Separation strains but cannot break such strains. Okay, so the message I'm getting is that you had that connection, that oneness in the past, you know, that happily ever after, and now you're starting to forget about that bond. You're breaking up front, free from it, right? And that's I think the message that the universe is saying is don't do that. Don't close yourself off. Be open. Um, continue to love and be open. 
Okay, so a sprightly green and black mermaid is flanked on either side by identical mermaid sisters. The inseparable trio is held together by a strong familial bond, presenting themselves as a united front against the worries of the world. So the meaning is you're not alone. There is no need to feel isolated, right? The final outcome, feeling alone up there. The world is so much easier to face when you do it hand in hand. Even when they are not there in body, know that they are with you in mind and heart. Need an ear to listen, a shoulder to cry on, perhaps a pep talk to cheer you on. You know who to turn to. Not, Do not hesitate to reach out. Okay, so the message is from the universe for the, the feminines is to reach out. Don't close off. Um, yeah, there's this real strong desire to disconnect from the masculine, maybe in 3D reality. And so don't do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, girls, don't do that. All right, so I do hope this helps. Please like, share, subscribe. Um, did I mention that uh, the winner of the deck was Angela Dawson? So I will be contacting you. All right. Cheers, guys. Peace. Oh, don't forget to comment. All right. Peace.